Hello, everybody, um, and welcome to the um, Q and A <laughs> session for you Kickstarter backers. Thank you again for believing in our dream and this project. It's really exciting to share with you. Um, I again am Gabrielle A. Hill. I am the author of Katie the Bumblebee. Bring up my slides here, and we also have. Ms. Stephanie Gehring, who is our illustrator. And we have our special guest reader, who, if you, you know that name, if you paid attention to the campaign, but we will reveal her in a little bit. Um, again, a little bit about me. I'm originally from the University, uh, from Toledo. I went to the University of Toledo. I'm from Toledo, Ohio, um, and I live in Columbus now. I love music, education, and yoga. I love burgers. I'm trying to love the plant-based uh, burger. And I love my family and friends. And we also have Miss Stephanie Gehring, who is originally from Toledo, Ohio also. That's where we were childhood uh, classmates and started our work together. Um, now she's based in Chicago. She's an amazing artist. She loves animals and loves street art. So, hey, Stephanie, how are you? I'm doing really well. <laughs> Glad you could join us today. And we have also Miss Kaylin. And Kaylin loves cats. She loves arts and art and drawing. And if you remember that name, you know that Katie is inspired by Kaylin, who is my amazing goddaughter. So a little bit about um, this process, you know, it started with an idea and I reached out to Stephanie just to see even if she would consider it um, fun, never before seen footage. This is the first book that we created when we were in elementary school called, uh, I don't know, all, con all Kinds of Animals. And uh, we've clearly come a long way since then. And she said, yep, let's go. And we started the process. Um, I was able to reach out to my students for help. They picked certain um, images of Katie. There are times when, you know, I got tired and I wanted to quit, but, you know, I took a break, said some positive words and tried again, asked for help with you all through Kickstarter. And now we are here, we're working hard and we are almost um, where you have the book in your hands. So um, this is one of my favorite illustrations from the book. And it was actually one of the last ones that we added where Katie is, you know, she set her, she set her goal, she knew what she wanted to do, but she still had some obstacles and she had to push through. Um, Stephanie, was there anything that you wanted to say about the process and the journey of how we got here? <laughs> Sure, yeah. I think creating Katie from ground zero all the way up into the book was probably my favorite part. Uh, basically taking your vision of Katie and, and who they were meant to be and just taking her out and fleshing her out, going from the sketches all the way up into the bumblebee here. I mean, it's really a fun process that I haven't gotten to do yet. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And I mean, you did an amazing job. Like it would literally be me giving a random uh, <laughs> idea from my head and you would bring it to paper and it would just be like, yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Um, so now we will go ahead and we have our special guest reader. Let's see where she Oh, there she is. Hello, Kaylin. Oh, I think it might. Go ahead and unmute, honey. Hello. Thanks for having me here. Thanks for hopping on today. Would you be willing to read Katie the Bumblebee for us? Of course. Awesome. All right. Whenever you're ready, take it away. Katie the Bumblebee by Gabrielle A. Hill, illustrated by Stephanie G Gillick. Gary. <laughs> yeah. I always get there. Okay. 
for Kaylin, never doubt yourself or who you were created to be. For my students, remember you are limitless. This is a story about a bumblebee who never gave up on herself. Let Katie's story spark the bumblebee in you. Hi, I'm Katie. They say bumblebees shouldn't be able to fly because our bodies are too big and our wings are too small. Listen to my story of how they never stop me at all. Grasshopper thinks bumblebees are just made to sting. But Katie knows she is made to sing. Grasshopper whispers, bumblebees can't sing. But that doesn't stop Katie the bumblebee. I can do it. Each note will ring. Deep inside, I was born to sing. Lady, ladybug thinks bumblebees can't read all alone. But Katie knows she can learn to read on her own. Ladybug whispers, Bumblebees can't read, but that doesn't stop Katie the bumblebee. I can do it if I believe one day soon I'm going to read. Ant thinks bumblebees aren't strong enough, but Katie knows that she is tough. Ant whispers, bumblebees aren't strong, you see, but that doesn't stop Katie the bumblebee. I can do it. It won't be long. I can move this thing because I am strong. One day, Katie has an idea that seems outrageous, but she knows it's time to be even more courageous. I just thought of something else to do. I want to fly. How about you? Butterfly says, her body looks funny and her wings don't move right. How can someone like her even take flight? <laughs> they say bumblebee bees aren't made to fly, but Katie knows she has to try. They whisper, bumblebees can't fly free, but that doesn't stop Katie the bumblebee. I can do it if I try. Today's the day I'm going to fly. Well, Katie decides to fly. She doesn't make it on the very first try. Yes, she has some ups and downs, but nothing can keep this bumblebee on the ground. Off she goes into the sky, doing curly cues and awesome dives. She is so happy and flying so high. They can't understand how this could be. After all, after all she is only a teeny tiny bumblebee. But once she has, but once she takes a look around, Katie thinks she might come down. They aren't happy that she, that she is flying. They aren't happy to see that he is trying that she is trying something new. Now Katie doesn't know what to do. She seems she sees them whisper but can't hear the sound, for she is so far up and they are still on the ground. I'm up here flying and buzzing around. What a brand new joy I have found. There's nothing I cannot deny. This bumblebee was born to fly. So what have they told you what was too hard? Trying to stop you before you even start. Instead of you feeling pr proud, the voice of they can ring so loud. Never mind what they have to say. They'll probably never try it anyway. Live out loud and live your dreams. Fly through like you have wings. Fly through life like you have wings. Remember, they never stop Katie the Bumblebee. The end. Great job, Katie.